electric fields. So recall that Coulomb's law states that the force F between two electrically charged objects with charges Q1 and Q2, which are separated by a distance r, is KQ1Q2 over r squared. Now, electric fields show what this electric force would be on a positive test charge in different locations. For example, let's consider a positive charge, let's call it plus Q. If we put a positive test charge over here, it would feel a force pushing it away, indicated by the arrow. Now let's move this charge so it's a little closer, and now it feels a stronger force, which we indicate by drawing a longer arrow. If we move the charge farther away, it feels a weaker force, indicated by a shorter arrow. So we've drawn in part of the electric field. An electric field is the force a test charge would feel as a function of location, so it's really defined all over the place but electric fields are usually illustrated with a few vectors that give you a flavor of what the field looks like. Here you see that the field always points away from the positive charge in the middle and gets weaker the farther away you are from that charge. Now what happens if we have a negative charge? Well, positive chest charges would be attracted to it, so here's the corresponding electric field. Let's try something a little more complicated. Two positive charges, and let's suppose that these charges are equal. So if we put a test charge over here, it'll feel a relatively strong force from the left charge, since it's pretty close, and it'll feel a weaker force from the right charge, since that one's farther away. Adding these two force vectors together gives the resulting force, and shows which way the electric field points at this location. Let's move the charge to somewhere on the midline between these two charges. Here's the force from the left charge, and here's the force from the right charge. Their horizontal components will cancel out, and we'll be left with a purely vertical force. And we can draw in more of the electric field. In this case, since the two charges are equal, the electric field at the midpoint between them will be zero. And here's an illustration of the electric field for a positive and negative charge that are near each other. In this case, where the charges are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign, the electric field is purely horizontal along the midline between the charges. Now electric fields are defined as the force per unit charge, so their units are newtons per coulomb. So what's the magnitude of an electric field when we have a test charge, little q, near a charge, capital Q? Well, here's Coulomb's law. Electric field is force per unit charge, so we want to divide F by little q to find the electric field that the little test charge q feels. And now the little q's cancel and we have F over Q equals KQ, K big Q, over R squared. This is the magnitude of the electric field created by a charge, capital Q. So to calculate electric fields from complex arrangements of charges, find the electric field from each charge, and then add up the electric fields as vectors.